termite, Scythian, Greek or any other native. They had one thing in common, they were strictly forbidden to have sex with men for pleasure, and men could not live in Amazonian territory. However, for the continuation of their lineage, the Amazons visited the neighboring tribe of the Gargarians once a year, and any male children born were either sent to their fathers or killed. Girls were raised by their mothers and trained in agriculture, hunting, and warfare. Girls are being trained for the battles they will face later in life. They are taught to shoot an arrow. They are taught to use the bow. They are taught to use swords. They push them forward. Amazon women, who saw fighting as a way of life, did not even hesitate to injure their bodies to become better warriors. The Amazons, whose expertise in archery is legendary, used not only arrows, spears and shields, but also double-sided and sharp axes called labris. Over time, these axes became their symbol. Nearly 4,000 years after the Amazons, in 2019, archaeologists in Russia discovered a tomb containing the bodies of four women. The youngest of the women was in her early teens and the oldest in her mid-forties. The oldest woman was buried with various weapons and an embroidered headdress. Another woman in her twenties was buried in the position of a horse rider. Further analysis showed that the women were people who lived in the 4th century BC. Both the region and the time period suggested that these women could have been Amazon women who encountered the Greeks. So why were Amazon women usually on the losing side of the battle in Greek stories of heroism? The Greeks tried to eradicate the existence of Amazonian women from history. Because, after all, men have always been a powerful being, women who would take over their sovereignty, so women have always been directed to be mothers, to raise children, to take care of the house, something that started from those times. This is Southern Siberia. Researchers tracing the Amazons in the Republic of Tuva found the mummy of an Amazon warrior who died about 2,600 years ago. She was an Amazon warrior girl, 13 years old. She was buried in her grave with her tools of war. Researchers spent 30 years studying the mummy to share this information with the press. Found in 1988, the mummy was initially thought to be that of a boy but genetic analysis revealed that the body wrapped in fur belonged to a girl. Researchers said the findings point to the brave and fearless female warriors of the Scythians. The Scythians, a nomadic people, made several raids from Siberia to Anatolia and Europe between 900 and 200 BC. A mummy in Tuva, presumed to have died at the age of 13, has shed light on many mysteries. The young warrior was buried with a bow, ten bronze arrows, several spears, an axe and a long rope. Amazons kept their weapons with them even in their sleep. The fact that this 13-year-old girl had so many weapons also indicates that she was a good warrior and completed her training at an early age.